inefficient pump. It is a one and a half horsepower pump using. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch on the breaker here. And you can see the, it's running zero now on the energy usage. Turn on the pump. All right, so that's saying that this pool pump, the inefficient pool pump is now, is using over a thousand, um, it's using over a thousand watts, 1.02, 1.04, kilowatts it's about one kilowatt of power right now uh, that's gonna be used per hour if you wanted to see how much money that was per hour being spent on this pump you're looking at 45.74 cents US uh, per hour being spent on this pump and I think this pump was running at 24 hours a day right now because there was no off switch on the timer so that's going to show you how much this, in this inefficient pump is costing them right now. Alright, we are at the energy efficient pool pump. You can see everything set up. We're going to match the flow rate with the inefficient pool pump with our energy saving one. With the pump, turn it on, comparing it to the other pump, starts off at 293 watts. And that's uh, much less than what you saw the other pump was doing over a kilowatt. But once you start it up, you're looking at 200 and See, it's dropped to 270 watts. I could even use, I can even scroll this pump down to half of this, 750 RPM, and run this, because the pool size is so small, I could run it at 750 RPM and only use, you can see it's only using 94 watts. But I can run it here and I'll still turn over this pool uh, more than one time a day. So really, this pump should run at about this, this uh, this RPM 750 watts to even show to save much more energy.